morning. Okay. Good morning, everyone. It is Sunday. It's February 6th, and I have come on because I'm about to do my Sunday regimen, um, and I wanted to share it with you guys. Um, first of all, let me just say I hope you all had a really nice rest last night. You know, I know nights, um, we all got things going on in our lives and stuff, and it's not always easy, but I do hope that you woke up this morning and, um, with good feelings and positive vibes, and if you don't have them yet, I hope that throughout the day you get them. So right let's go right into it so you know um this is going to be a little bit of an um a update on what's going on with my hair um how i achieve this look and so on and so forth my sunday regimen so on sundays i totally um focus on my my outer beauty and my inner beauty and all that good stuff i start off with washing my hair i use l'occitane shampoo um i use the repairing line shampoo excuse my lighting and i also use the conditioner in that line i like these pro this l'occitane line of shampoo because it's very rich and um my hair can get dry um and it, it basically it's rich and it's repairing for your hair it has essential oils in it like lavender ling lang rosemary um, i don't know if i just said ling lang right but you know what i mean <laughs> and i really like this line i've been using it for about a year and a half and it has really prepared my hair kept it strong um and so on all the things that you want for your hair this shampoo and conditioner delivers um, after I shampoo and condition, um, I only leave this conditioner on, by the way, for about five or ten minutes tops, um, maybe even less than that sometimes, because I found this amazing deep conditioner that I absolutely love. In fact, I might actually love this particular product more than I love the L'Occitane, or maybe equally. It's just that I'm so shocked that, you know, this is pricey. Um, and this is pricey as well, but not as pricey as that one. So I was kind of like shocked that this works so well. I just love this product. I love all the things about it from the outside marketing to the information about it, to how they break it down, the whatever that all that is, you know, um, and it's this one is the Shea Moisture. I can I say the name? Shea Moisture Super Fruit Complex 10 in 1 Renewal System absolutely love this so i put this on my hair love the smell of it i love the consistency of it um a little goes a long way a lot even more a lot of it a, a generous amount even i love the smell what is that smell i wonder what particular ingredients in this is gives that smell it's just i love it i bought this for 50 percent on along with some other things and this too this one i have not used yet it is the strengthening growth restore leave-in conditioner the only reason i haven't used this because for my leave-in like a leave-in conditioner i've been using this when i run out of the loxiton control prep cream this I plan on using this I really really like this this is an amazing product um, I put it on my hair after I wash my deep conditioner out and um, it's a very it's from the repairing line it's very very good to help keep your hair strong help keep it soft and not give definition to your um, natural cork curls or whatever kind of curls you have it gives a nice definition okay so um, I'm gonna start the washing process, but the first thing I always do is I comb my hair out and um, I'm sure everyone knows how to do this, but it's super important because the less detangled your hair is before you wash it, the, the easier it'll be to kind of just like comb the conditioner out and you'll see less breakage and stuff like that. Um, oh yeah, you, you want to start at the bottom. You guys know this, right? Just start at the bottom and work your way up. So 
I have a little shedding. Um, and remember, this is from two weeks of not combing my hair. And I think that's pretty good in terms of shedding, you know, your hair sheds, your hair is gonna shed. Um, if the strands are long, your hair is shedding. If the strands are short, it's breakage, okay? So I'm just gonna go now. Hello. <laughs> so I'm just now going to be able to wash my hair just like this. Hi you all. So I just wanted to show you something that I really feel improved the quality of my hair um, and keeps it moist and less dry. I only shampoo my scalp as you can see. I simply have the shampoo on my scalp and the ends of my hair here. Um, I try my best not to let the shampoo really get to the ends. Obviously some is gonna get on there, especially when you rinse it out. Not a big deal, but in terms of like um, shampooing, I am really just going into my scalp, as you can see. So when you shampoo your hair, this is really good. So basically the shampoo is for your scalp and the conditioner is for your ends. I will show you how I put the conditioner in my hair, but um, yeah, so I'm going like this. Now, as you can see, some of the shampoo does get into the ends of my hair, but I'm trying my best to avoid that, and all you can do is do your best. Hey, so I've washed the shampoo out my hair, <laughs> and um, this is my hair wet after washed. Um, I know it's not good to use a towel on your head. Usually I have a t-shirt or whatever, but as you know, I'm, I'm, you can see I'm not, I'm just kind of like going like that. So next I'm going to go with my L'Occitane. Ooh. My L'Occitane, um, I have to charge my phone. My L'Occitane repairing conditioner. And I'm running out of my L'Occitane stuff. So you know what? I probably next I'm going to try the whole system of the Shea Moisture because I love it so much and it's a lot more affordable and I just think it's just as good. So what I'm going to do is just kind of, but I have a good amount in here of conditioner. Well, a decent amount to get through this, let's say. So I'm pretty generous with conditioner. Always have, always will be. So I just take that and... time basically that I used to take the conditioner put it on my ends and then massage it into my scalp all that good stuff no I attack my ends I've shampooed my scalp cleanse my scalp I'm conditioning my ends this me doing this has really really helped the quality of my hair and the, um, the condition and the strength of it so now what I'm gonna do is I just take that and I swoop it up like that. A little, I guess that's a bun. And I'm gonna let this sit for about um, five minutes, seven minutes, 10 minutes tops. I can't wait to use my, I never can wait to use this. So just a few minutes with this and then we go in with this one. All right, I'll be back. So next I'm going in with my um, Shea Moisture favorite conditioner in the world right now <laughs> and um, my hair is nice and detangled and soft and this is just gonna make it softer start at the ends and work my way up it's so nice and thick I'm sure you can already see how much how 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 it coats my hair um, I take some more generous amount and I'm just going to kind of do like four sections remember not touching my roots with this conditioner is for your hair not your scalp the natural oils will come out of your scalp 
as the days and hours progress. So yeah, I'm going in like this. And just really focusing on my hair, my hair, not my scalp, my hair, my hair. This conditioner is so rich that um, it just kind of like, look at it, it just kind of like weighs your hair down. I'm taking some more of this and I'm gonna put it at the ends. Put it up in a little bun like loss. And if you have a plastic bag, which I have run out of mines, um, just put a plastic bag over your head, like a plastic cap, you know, the clear ones or whatever you use. Um, but if not, you can use anything. You could use a plastic bag, you could use a whatever. Um, and so, yeah, so you want to just cover it for a certain amount of time. Feel free to do whatever. Hey, so I'm back. Feels like it's been forever. I've had the conditioner, um, in my hair, that last deep conditioner, the Shea Moisture one in my hair for about, I don't know, I would say 30, 35 minutes. And, um... I'm a little bit wet right now and um, so I'm now I am about to put the last step in put in my styling prep um, my leave-in conditioner um, and then I'm gonna do some four shiny bumps and with oh I forgot my bobby pins one moment uh, Okay, so I have, I just need four bobby pins. Um, and so I'm gonna start. Now, um, my hair is really um, nice and soft and detangled. Um, so I'm just going to gently part it in four sections. Now, I don't have a mirror. I'm just using my camera to do this. know what I'm kind of debating on whether or not I should try just using this I have not tried it before um, it's the Jamaican black castor oil strengthen growth and restore leave-in conditioner I don't know I'm gonna try it usually I use this um, but I'm just gonna do this at my ends and I'm gonna use the shea butter shea moisture just a little bit I try not to put too, too much product, like the leave-in conditioner in my hair. It's, it's not really, it's more to detangle and kind of start off the moisture. Um, I'm focusing on my roots and my ends. Yeah, it's light and I'm not going to use a lot of it. Just a bit. Because this is, I want my hair to dry. I know I should start from my ends gently as possible so now I just take this here and twist 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 for the ends whoa hey that's good product gonna use that for the ends I'm gonna take the um, L'Occitane and put it at the ends and then I'm going to take that and just wrap it up in a bun let me sit back I'm so sorry you all just wrap it up in a bun and put a bobby pin to secure it now I don't put the bobby pin at the very end because I don't want to mess with my ends. I just kind of secure it around a thick part of the hair. And then I'm going to do this side. Actually, I'll do this side for you guys. 
But before I do that, what I do do is I part the front the way I want my hair to fall and it's just a swoop. I'm gonna take some of the, hmm, sorry, cash oil, this here, not too much. I don't, yeah, not, I don't think that's a lot. You don't have to use a comb. Finger combing it is better. Because you know your hair is already detangled. So I'm going to now just twist it. Twist it, twist it. And I twist it going back just so I don't have any lumps. If I like wear a scarf or something. And some of that. Oxyton leave-in conditioner, let's say um, control prep cream at the end. Wrap it around. And put the bobby pin, just leave your end out, okay? And just do that to the other two sides and you're red to go, trained to go. Okay, okay everybody, so I'm back and my hair is um, done the way I want it to be. I decided to pull the two front parts to the back because I'm about to head out and I'm gonna put a scarf on my hair and a um, cute little hat um, to cover up and to let it dry and keep it protected and uh, you know moist um, in about 24 hours when my hair has dried or later on tonight I'll put coconut oil in my hair and then braid them just braid the sections and take the twist out and braid the sections um, the reason I don't put coconut oil in my hair now is because I feel like it will dry faster um, if I don't put the coconut oil in and just you know just let it air dry like this um, I'm going to take a, some sort of material this is like a satin material. You could use silk satin or whatever. And I'm just going to put it around my hair like this. And really let my hair do its thing. Be the best it can be all up under here. It just feels so good. So anyway, thanks for watching. Enjoy the rest of your Sunday. I have so this is how I pulled it all together. Um, I just threw on this little beanie hot pink. One of my favorites haven't worn it in a while though and um my polarized pink glasses um real cool and i just have on this really cool really really cool given to me by a friend of mine it's um this prince freedom t-shirt and mug shots eh <laughs> i hope you guys have a nice sunday i will be back earlier than you think and earlier than I have been before and I wish you all the best thanks for watching later take care of yourself